Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Brianna Smith and a baby giraffe is expected at any time. You're taking a live look right now inside the Greenville Zoo's giraffe bars. This is a sample ballot. Mine was six pages long for here in Greenville County, and that's because there's going to be several referendums here on the ballot. In about five minutes it froze and now after an hour, it's not moving. They just took their first marriage license from a same sex couple right here in the court. The judge actually says that it's a great day for those couples that they're finally able to give those applications. We want to show you a copy of what they've done here in Oconee County. They've changed it from saying bride and groom to now saying applicant one information and applicant two information. We have a new separate police incident at a grocery store unfolding in Paris right now. We've got a live picture that we want to bring up here for you. The streets are closed off and vendors are getting ready to to serve you that yummy fair food. Also, the most important thing is that the police are ready. The deputies are here. So are police with those unified command centers. The chemical drift that was from that chemical fire will not be moving towards the city. So that means that all evacuations have lifted except for Crosby Circle, like Addie said. Good morning, Fred. We just got an update from the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. They tell us that this was a multi car crash that involved a pedestrian as well as a deputy within the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. I'll let my photographer show you the scene. You can see how many lights are down there right now. We know this happened right after 530. We're told Highway Patrol is now on scene. They're going to investigate exactly what happened, go over that scene and try and figure out the internal review policy for Greenville County Sheriff's Office is also here. They're going to investigate to see if there was anything involved with that as well. Now, I also want to show you the traffic. This is the Highway 25, Highway 291 exit right off of 85. You can see that there's a big traffic jam right now. That's because they're not letting anybody onto 291 or 25 while they're investigating this crash. That means if you're on 85, you should avoid this exit because as soon as you get off, they're going to put you right on Old Augusta Road, which is also backed up because of how much traffic there is. Now we're going to take one more look at the scene right now. You can see how many lights there are. We're told that we might get another update soon from Highway Patrol since they are taking over this case. As soon as we get more information, though, we'll keep you updated right here and on WSPA.com. For now, I'm live in Greenville County. Brianna Smith, 7 on your side. Several victims in the main building. A call for help. She was, she was going to be a white male wearing a black hoodie. Law enforcement never wants to hear. I've got one man down, man down. Man down. But today, the opportunity was created to be able to prepare for it. You have to first make sure that it's the scene is safe, and that's what they're trying to do now. To make sure that the emergency response can come in and treat those victims. Exactly. The Rutherford County Sheriff's Office, along with dozens of other law enforcement agencies, EMS, and also fire, trained inside East Rutherford High as if there was an active shooter. This is law enforcement's training, and we're essentially um, participating to provide them a more realistic setting. And for the first time, over 400 teachers were involved as well, acting as students, also teachers responding to this situation. And even though it's a drill, when you work in schools, um, even watching a video about um, critical incidents or participating in something like this just reminds us all of how serious it is and how much we need to be prepared. This is exactly what a training exercise should look like. The EMS, also the fire and the police all working together. They're evaluating exactly what they're doing now so they can respond appropriately if this ever should happen. Somebody speak up if y'all see There's people with it. Tell them. Tell Your job right. is to rescue people. Hey. There's, don't, don't there's an evaluator with every single group that goes? There is an evaluator with, with each and every group that goes by. Again, this is a training exercise to make sure that everyone that's involved learns from, from any mistakes and from, from anything that they see that's going on. Each agency had their role in this, whether it be to identify the shooter, evaluate, or just help victims. The whole goal was to save lives and reduce uh, the level of injuries. But the overall goal today was to protect your children throughout the school year. In Rutherford County, Brianna Smith, 7 on your side. I have no regrets. Killing that pedophile was the best day of my life. Last words before a life sentence. I had to do it over again. I killed more. Reiterates the judge's verdict. I believe that if these two were to get out of jail, uh, I would be concerned that they would do exactly the same thing. Jeremy and Christine Moody pled guilty Tuesday to murdering a Union County couple in July of 2013. They claimed to have shot and stabbed Charles and Gretchen Parker because Charles was on the registered sex offender list. In court, the Moody showed no remorse for the crime, smiling and even laughing at times. But the victim's family had only tears for the loss of the Parkers. I have to forgive them for what they've done to my aunt and uncle, but right now, I can't. A first look into the investigation was shown through evidence. These pictures from surveillance videos show the Moody's entering and leaving the Parker's house. 
The solicitor claims this was a key piece to deliver a guilty plea. And that was instrumental in helping the sheriff's office get started in the investigation. As shown by the tattoos they wear, the Moody's have been linked to neo-Nazi white supremacist groups. The sheriff noted there is not a following of those groups in Union County. I think this was a freak situation. The Moody's now head to jail with strong last words. Child molesters do not deserve to live. They got exactly what they deserve. But the Parker's family can now breathe knowing justice was served. My aunt and uncle is at peace now. In Union County, Brianna Smith, 7 on your side.